Well, the duck hunting season got off to a dramatic start with protesters and hunters going head to head. But as Christy Cooper reports, there weren't as many birds in the most popular hunting grounds, with many having flown north where floods have created duck heaven. Well before the break of dawn, these duck rescuers came prepared. These birds are really suffering and it happens every year. They donned military goggles to prevent a repeat of last year when a protester was shot in the face. As the horizon revealed itself, hunters seemed to appear out of nowhere, waiting for their first shoot of the season. Rescuers were ordered off the wetlands, but determined to help an injured bird, Laurie Levy was arrested. The other matter is a far more serious matter where a bird has been wounded and nobody's out there looking for okay, it. Protesters want the sport banned. The other birds that are not, uh, that are protected birds, uh, do get shot as well. Hunters say it's a family tradition. I don't see no difference between shooting a duck or going fishing. It's very much recreation and sport. It's hand-eye coordination. Despite having had plenty of rain, it hasn't been the successful start to the season that hunters were hoping for. Many of the ducks have headed north, where floods have turned the area into a bird's paradise. It's the first year the DPI have taken the reins. The game management unit in the DPI is being run by duck shooters. So there's a huge conflict of interest there. Oh, I certainly reject those criticisms. We have a highly professional staff. Seven hunters were fined for breaching protocol. Christy Cooper, 7 News.